Hi everyone, so last time I talked to you it was a few days ago. Today it is Wednesday the 20th of March and I've just basically been vlogging on my phone because I haven't wanted to bring you guys because people we've been going out on water activities and then I'd by the beach and I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to talk you through it. So today we're going on a snorkeling trip with a few other Swedish girls that we met two days ago when we wrote in a Facebook group and asked if anyone wanted to meet up and these two girls were going to an island uh, for free to collect rubbish and then they'd get free lunch so we came with them on that and that was a really cool experience uh, we went on a boat trip out to two different islands to like clean them basically and then we went back ate lunch with them and we just chilled out chatted to them for ages it was really nice and then they were going to meet three other Swedish girls that they that one of them had met like once five years ago or something and they were really nice as well so we just chilled watched the sunset with them and then we went out for dinner with them as well which was really fun Sorry for this little commercial break in this video. Um, this part of the video is in collaboration with Junkyard, so thank you so much to Junkyard for sending me a few clothes that I'm going to show you. And of course, I have a coupon code for you, uh, which is Rebecca15. It is valid for, for seven days after this. I think it's valid in the whole of Europe, but you have to buy for over 500 Swedish kroner before it before you can use it and you can't use it on on the sale but yeah let's just hop into this because i absolutely love everything a junkyard has the first thing i've got was this really cool t-shirt so in today's collaboration i focused mainly on junkyard's own brand and because they have done collaborations with other brands such as ls which is the one i'm wearing right now and it's this like green crop top t-shirt which is super super comfortable and it's like neon pastel i really really like it and I got it in the size 36 and it fits me really well so love that and yes I have got new tattoos I got two tattoos in Berlin there will be a vlog about that soon one day <laughs> okay the next thing I got was this like jean jacket kind of but it's not jean it's like black with neon sem like with neon um what's it called sem seams with me on seams and got it in an extra small i really like it it's a cropped jacket it goes with this top as well it's just a really cool jacket i think i might wear it out tonight and yeah i i really like the neon trend so it's cool that it's got neon in it and i got this jacket in an extra small and as you can see it fits me quite nicely i'm five foot two for those of you wondering okay so the next top i got was this one and this is just like a bandeau neon crop top which i'm in love with it fits really really well and it's like quite thick so it's not see-through which is amazing i'll put the sizes i got in the description box so you can see but yeah really really comfy feels like really good material as well but everything off junkyard is amazing material material like quality then i got this skirt uh, which is so soft and i thought this would be nice for like summer nights or just summer days or you can dress it up and wear it out this one i got in a size small I really really like this skirt it's so comfortable and really soft and it's gonna be great for the summer because I'm gonna be able to pair it with so many different things so yeah by the way I'm home now and that's why you can see the background of my room but next thing I got is also another really good piece I'm gonna get so much use out of this summer and this is a black body uh, long sleeved as well so a bit warmer which is nice for the night time 
and it's got a v-neck and it's so soft like this is probably the softest body i have it's so comfy i got it in a small okay guys and then i have these trousers which i'm obsessed with i have got so many so many questions on where i got these trousers and so many compliments and i'm i love these trousers so much i got them in an extra small and they're really comfortable i've actually spilled a little bit on them so if you can see some stains that's because i've already worn them i couldn't stop myself from wearing them because they're so nice and he says hi hi love 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 these highly recommend them i have a pair of these that look like these in black anyway from junkyard don't know if they're exactly the same model but i'm obsessed and yes i did put my hair up i don't really know exactly why but i did <laughs> but this is the next top i got which i'm obsessed with it's so comfortable and cute just like ellie back there um it's just a feeler hoodie basically collaboration with junkyard it's like quite oversized and big i got it in a size small i believe yeah i got it in a small so this is the length of it if i pull it which i think is quite a good length i will definitely be wearing this out on like late summer nights when it's cold or just chilling around the house shit i'm gonna take my hair out because this is not doing it for me next thing i got was this hoodie it's also it's another feeler hoodie i have this one in blue i really really like it um so it's got feeler all along the arm it's this like special material which is like a little bit sporty and it's cropped again it's got muffs at the end yeah i really like this hoodie i think it's really cool and i love that it's cropped okay so next thing i got is this oversized t-shirt dress which i really really love i think they had it in neon green as well but i just chose the pink and gray i think it's so cute and the material is like really thick and really good quality so you could easily wear it without a bra underneath and you'll be fine i think t-shirt dresses are really cool and i love people who can pull them off i just don't know how i'd managed to pull this off in public i mean maybe with a cool pair of chunky sneakers maybe a little belt around the waist i don't really know guys help me because i think this is really cool um but either way i'm gonna be wearing this a lot because it's so comfortable i love to just lounge around in this lounge around, lounge around in this in the, in the house and i also feel like it complements my skin tone makes me look a bit tan and I don't know, really, really love it. I got this in an extra small because I am quite short. And I also love how they have long sleeves. Long, like, short sleeve. I think that's really nice. Yeah, that was this for this haul section. Now let's carry on with the vlog. Don't forget to use my coupon code, Rebecca15. And click the links down below if you found anything that you liked. And I'll see you. And then the next day we watch the sunrise. <laughs> and this was the most luxurious breakfast or meal we have had on our trip um because we're trying to save our money so we're eating at really cheap places but this was really really good i got like a chia pudding toast it was just really nice and we just sat there chatted to them for a while i'm gonna try these mini bananas i got them for 20 baht which is like nothing these are called like golden bananas or something so I'm gonna try those. I also bought a snorkel, so we've been out snorkeling a bit. We're at Patong. This is how it looks. It's like golden, it's like more yellow. It tastes exactly like a normal banana. And then we was like, oh, we kind of want to go on a snorkeling trip. And they were like, oh, so do we, so we, decided to book one together and the man was really nice and he was like oh you can have a private boat for the same price as like a normal one so we're going with them and it's just going to be us and it's going to be really exciting so i'm going to bring my gopro so we can so i can bring you guys along that so yeah that's what has been happening all right guys i'll see you later on tonight it's the full moon party which i'm really excited about <laughs>
on our snorkeling trip and it was good although we told them that we wanted vegetarian food all of us we were a group of five girls sorry i've got aloe vera in my all over my face because i burnt myself and my shoulders are real burnt as well but yeah it's like four o'clock now and we're gonna go eat dinner with the three girls that we met from sweden as well and then we're going to full moon party which i'm so excited about so if you can hear the music but our walls are literally like there's this big holes in our walls and it has been a nightmare actually uh for me the first night i was like wow this is gonna be like a robinson experience like i'm gonna be one with the nature it's gonna be so cool but we have had a living hell in that there's got huge holes in the mosquito net we've had dead bugs in our bed two nights in a row we've had two squashed frogs under our bags and it's really weird because we didn't squash them like we would have noticed it and the, it was weird that it was two two frogs that has been squashed and they were lying next to a cookie so they must have they've opened the cookie package and got into the cookies and started eating them so that was actually absolutely disgusting we had to take those out could be our fault for leaving food in there but then but we thought we had left it open but then the next day when we came in we had a cookie packet that was not opened it was in its package it was in a plastic bag tied up and we came home and it was a hole in it so someone some animal has eat through the plastic and opened it and it's just absolutely gross i've got so so many um bites on my leg we thought it was bed bugs but kind of don't think so anymore because they've gone down and i haven't really had any more so I really hope that isn't yeah i was really positive the first night and like the second night and the third night until the squashed frogs came i mean it's kind of our fault but it's just we don't have any wi-fi in the bungalow either we thought we would um but we don't which is a little bit annoying too so we was actually wanting to change and live somewhere else um the three nights that are left here at kulipe but there's nothing that's in our price range so we're gonna have to stay here i mean we've done five nights here already so we can do two more so but yeah that's that so i'm just gonna go get ready for the full moon party i think i've got a spot there yeah but yeah it was really cool on the snorkeling trip apart from the part that we didn't get vegetarian food that we asked for uh, we saw a purple starfish and we saw more nemo fish but otherwise we kind of had seen all the fish but i really recommend going on a snorkeling trip So we are, it's our second last day here. It's Thursday the 21st of March. I'm sorry if you can't hear anything, but we're at this place called Bloom Cafe and we're gonna have brunch. It's currently half past 11. So yeah, yes, I don't know if you're gonna hear me, but yesterday we were at full moon party and <laughs> Amelia cut her toe on a stone. So yesterday we were at full moon party and she was walking barefoot because of the high tide or like the water was really deep but she cut herself on a stone and it was bleeding lots uh, so we had to like get a taxi and they were really nice we have a few Swedish girls that we met they helped us get like a taxi and he drove us to their hostel so we could like wash it because there was a lot of blood and she could barely walk on her foot and then this morning we had to go to the hospital um, just to check it up and they were really nice about it here come our friends that we're gonna have brunch with we're at bloom cafe iced almond latte yeah. 